Did you know that The Guild, one of the original gamer shows on YouTube, is about to start its sixth season? So I have randomly obtained what I think is my utter dream job. I need you to burn all my socks. I only wear them once. It's one of the many killer shows on Felicia Day's channel called Geek and Sundry. Check out the show by clicking here. Make sure to sub for the best geek and gamer content on YouTube. What's going on everyone, this is Dak13, and that advertisement at the beginning of the video, um, that was not me, that was my friend Zach. Um, as you all know, I'm not quite ready to show my face yet, um, I don't plan on doing that until um, I reach around 15 or 20,000 subscribers, um, probably like in a giveaway video, I'll just show myself, um, but you know, thanks to him, he goes to my school, um, and one of the requirements for doing the advertisement was that you show your face or someone's face, and so... I asked him and he said he would, so um, once again, thanks to Zach for helping me with that advertisement. But anyways, in this video, I'm going to be showing you all on how you can downgrade from the final version of iOS 6, 6.0, down to 5.1.1 or any other iOS 5 firmware. So let's get right on into it. Alright, so as you can see on the screen now, my iPod Touch 4th generation is running iOS 6, the final version, not, not any betas or the GM firmware, this is the final iOS 6. Um, and remember that this tutorial only works with A4 devices, so the iPod Touch 4th generation, the iPad, the iPhone 4, and anything else below those. So this will also work for the iPod Touch 3rd generation and the iPhone 3GS. Um, so from the things in this folder are pretty much what you need for this tutorial. You're going to need the restore file, um, the .ipsw, so basically the firmware file. I'll put a link in the description where you can download that. Um, and you need it for the firmware that you're downgrading to. So um, you're probably downgrading to 5.1.1. I'm, download I'm downgrading my iPod Touch 4G to 5.0.1. So I have that restore file. And then what you're also going to need is the SHSH blobs file. And I have mine right there. Um, and if you don't have that file, then that's fine. Just keep following the tutorial and hopefully um, you'll be able to get it later in the tutorial. But um, it's it, it works out a little better if you have the file. And if you do, put it in the same folder or the same directory as your firmware file. And then you're also going to need Red Snow, obviously. And I'll put a link in the description down below for where you can download Red Snow for Windows or Mac. Um, so, all right. First, you want to open up Red Snow. So I'm just going to double click it and run. And then you want to click Extras. And then go over to SHSH Blobs. And you want to press Stitch. Now, first, you're going to have to click IPSW. And I'm going to select the 5.0.1 um, Restore file and press Open. And then if you have Cydia on your device, so as you all know, there's a tethered jailbreak for iOS 6. Um, if you have Cydia on your device, then you'll be able to click the Cydia option. I have not jailbroken my iPod Touch 4th generation, so I don't. Um, but Cydia does automatically save pretty much all of your SHSH blobs for you. You guys know when you first open up Cydia, and as you can see on the screen now, the green heading at the top, if it says um, the firmware you want to down, downgrade to, if you remember the last time you opened up Cydia, um, and it says it there, or you can just do a tethered jailbreak right now on your device, or you may already have it, um, just open up Cydia and make, ch make sure that you know it says 5.1.1 up there, or 5.0.1, and if it does, and um, this op you're able to click Cydia right here, just click it, and you'll be able to get your blobs just like that. But I already have my blob file on my computer, so I'm going to click Local, and I'm going to select the file, which was in the same folder as the firmware file. So I'm going to press Open, and it's going to stitch the blobs, as you can see right here. So we're just going to wait to it to finish wait for it to finish up. And so as you can see it says created personalized IPSW tells me where it is. So I'm just going to press okay. And then what you want to do now is you want to go back and go right here and you want to click extras again and then you want to go to pwned DFU just like that. And what you're going to do with your device now is you're going to put it into DFU mode. So um, pretty much first before clicking next you it should already be plugged in. You want to hold down the power button on your device and you want to slide the power off while it's plugged in because you want it to be plugged in and off. And you want to click next, follow the on-screen instructions, basically turn it on for three seconds and then 
press the home button, keep power and home down till the screen goes black. And once the screen goes black and the Apple logo goes away, then you want to let go of the power button and keep holding down the home button. And eventually, it will go into DFU mode, and you'll be able, it will automatically start doing stuff. So as you can see right here, now it's um, exploiting with Lime Rain. And there we go. Now it's done. So now my device is in in pwned DFU mode. Um, so now I'm just gonna exit out of there. And if I go back to my original folder where it told me it saved the firmware file, it's right there. It has that long list of numbers and then iPod four comma one, and it gives me my firmware file. So that's the file we're gonna be using. So what you wanna do is now is you wanna open up iTunes, and as you can see, it's gonna tell you it's detected your device in recovery mode. And you just want to, for Windows users, hold down Shift. For Mac, I believe it's Option. Um, and why is this iTunes window so large? It's, it's going outside of my screen for some reason. Um, so, not outside of my screen, but it's just part of it's being covered up. But um, anyways, for Mac, you press Option. For Windows, you press Shift. So I'm just going to hold down Shift and click Restore. And it will bring up this folder. And basically, you just want to go to where that custom firmware file was made. So I have mine right here for 5.0.1 click open. Now a lot of people are going to get an error. Um, you may you may get the error, you may not. Um, we're going to see if I end up getting the error or not. So, And so as you can see, the downgrade has finished and, and my iDevice is now on iOS 5.0.1 and I can now have an untethered jailbreak. Now if any of you guys get an error at the end, um, I've seen this before, I did not get it. I, I was actually kind of hoping I can get it so I can show you guys how to fix it. But if you do get an error where it says like negative one or something um, at the end of the restore, not the beginning, but at the end, um, then what you need to do is you need to, I'll just show you guys quickly here, you just need to go into Red Snow. Now remember, this is only if you get an error that happens at the very end. Not the beginning, not at the middle, but at the end. And what you'll need to do is go to extras, and as you can see, recovery fixes right there. I can't click it because my device isn't in recovery mode, um, but if it was, then you just click that and you have to go into DFU mode. Um, but then it will get you out of recovery mode. And um, remember, this is only if you get the error at the end of your um, end of your downgrade. And once you've done that, you should be on a fresh restore of 5.1.1 or any other firmware you want to downgrade to. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. It was successful for me. For me. Um, I'm glad that it worked the way it did. As you can see, 5.0.1 5 is my firmware. And from the beginning of the video, I had iOS 6. So this downgrade was successful, and I hope it was successful for you too. If it wasn't, then please leave a comment letting me know what happened. But, um, Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video, and I will see you all in my next one.